Jones Jr. RJJ is five foot eleven inches tall with a reach of seven. Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest all time, won world titles in five weight classes, and he fights out of Wilmington, North Carolina. I wasn't even gonna play, but I'm glad I did, man. Look like some competition. Late night battle, let's go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, introducing <coughs> Sugar Ray <coughs> Leonard. Hiding out of the blue corner from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. God, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here at this venue. It's going to be something special. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. <laughs> And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Just misses with that jab. He missed with that jab. So much pre-match drama before this showdown. Who could forget what we saw yesterday at the weigh-in? These two boxers are finally ready to get it on. God, listen to them, listen to them. You can you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting your ear. I'm sorry. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. count which fighter will say no moss oh, this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go Big low, right man. Now. I have no idea. It's too hard to split if you listen to your head or your heart. <laughs> Turn on these motherfucking lights, man. Wake me up a little bit. Recalling which fighter is going to get clipped first? You can tell he's stronger, he's not faster. He misses with that jab.
fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. And he misses with that jab. In these middleweight type of fights, Johnny, you're obviously not going to see the speed you see in some of the, the lighter divisions or the power you see in some of the heavier divisions, but you sort of get the best of both worlds. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average Ooh. man or woman. When you get in there, and you're letting the shots go. You've got power. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Be nice as that was. So important. The referee got this fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. He just misses with that big right hand. Got him with a left jab. both know who the bigger power puncher is there's a significant power difference how would you handle that it's the one who draws first blood Todd. that's what you've got to look at if you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger you've got to be on it but you've got to be confident <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round hey those punches add up man really defending themselves <sighs> and he fails to score with that left hook So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. <laughs> this one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Who's going to be the first one to get caught? He blocks that jab. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Punches are bruising up his body. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so crutchy out, box a fight and beat them on points. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither one of them.
none of them want this to go to the judges' scorecard. No rest for the weary. Just missed with that left jab. <clears throat> Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Three o'clock in the morning, tribe. I wouldn't even gonna get on, man. I'm glad. Right, Following these niggas, man. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first round of the Bellator Super One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. That one lands. Takes that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left punch. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. Ooh. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> this one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Which fighter is going to get caught first? Blocks the hook. <laughs> when we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're thinking, you just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket. Man. both men in this round. He didn't take that jab well at all. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. What could they change? They can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over.
caught him there with a right hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Hey, right, fuck with me, man. That was super tight. I dread. <clears throat> He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Neither man really defending themselves. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. That jab misses. in this one. <clears throat> Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. So which fighter's gonna get clipped first? power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are you've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger stronger and faster you've just got to use brain there. they score again with the left hand Gloves up to block the left jab. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. What you've got to do, Teddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in the guess. Can they figure out the combination to their safe? He carries away that left hook. Swing and a miss with that jab. Jab does not score. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. <laughs> this fight is closer than two pages in a book. That's how you box, Charles. First one to get rocked. <laughs> Man. 
They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, talk to talk to them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. Oh, boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, what? Comment. What's his record? First one to get bumped. And Harry that left stab away. And he caught him with a left hook. power puncher is there's a significant power difference how would you handle that i've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone forget tactics they know the second they touch you it's done that's where the combination comes from and they figure out the combination to this safe and they get out of the way of that left hand Punch hurt him. Nice exchange here from both men. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the trainings. Ten seconds to go. Super tight. I dread being a trap. Yeah, I be beating that ass trap. <laughs> this shit be tickling my soul. I ain't lying right now. I'm done. I get up at like three in the morning. Tripping. <laughs> they would think he could really fight too. <laughs>
power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. How did he absorb that hook? Someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get bent. The judges' scorecards read there are no losers in this one. <laughs> this fight could not be any got a mad as a motherfucker. <laughs> die too saucy, die too motherfucker. We each fighter is going to get clipped first. this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Shows up on the judges' scorecards as a unanimous decision victory. They've done it before, now they've done it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan. What a result. I was just bullshitting at the end, child. <laughs> GG, bad boy. Oh, man. Big load, man. We be outside.